In this topic, we're going to learn how to create and save a PowerPoint presentation. We'll look at the default PowerPoint presentation, we'll learn how to add notes, and we'll also look at the Save As screen. When you first go into Microsoft PowerPoint 2013, you're taken to what is called the default PowerPoint presentation. In other words, it's basically a blank presentation waiting for you to make your magic happen. You start out with one single slide, and that slide has two placeholders on it. Placeholders are segments that allow you to add text, and they usually give you some guidance as to what you're supposed to place in that text holder. So here I am in the title text placeholder, and it's expecting, of course, a title from me. So it says click to add a title. All I have to do is click and start typing. It also wants a subtitle. Now be aware that these placeholders can be deleted, moved, okay, modified, so you're not stuck with what you see here. This is just a jumping off point, a starting point. When we looked at what the status bar was, we talked about the fact that you can add notes to your presentation, a slide at a time. Each slide has notes affiliated with it. Here is what happens when I click on that notes button on the status bar. A notes pane pops up, just like this, and it says click to add notes, and so that's what you do. You just click in there and you start typing and your notes will be associated with the slide that you're on. You can type as many notes in there as you want. You can copy and paste information from other sources. There's no limitations to what you can put in the notes area. You've probably saved files before in other products. Doing so in Microsoft PowerPoint is much the same. You basically have the ability to save a file somewhere on your computer, in recent folders or browsing to some other location. You also might have the ability to save in some place on your network or in what is called the SkyDrive, which is an area that Microsoft provides in the cloud for you to save your files. The first time you save a file, you are taken to this screen. Thereafter, if you go to save, you will just overwrite your last copy immediately, but anytime you go to save as, you'll be taken back to this screen where you can change the location of your file. Now don't panic here, this is a little different than earlier versions of Microsoft PowerPoint where you named the file right away. Here you have to pick your location first using one of these options and at that point you get the option to give the file a name. For this demonstration, I'm in PowerPoint already, and I'm going to start a new blank presentation by going up to File, which takes me to my backstage area, and clicking New. I don't want to use a template for this particular presentation. I'm just going to start a blank presentation, which starts me with one slide, and we're going to pretend that I am doing a autobiography of myself. I'm part of a new team. They want to know about me, so I'm going to create a little presentation. I click to add a title, and I type my bio. I click to add a subtitle, and I type an introduction. These are text placeholders, so they're giving me a little bit of guidance as to what I'm supposed to enter into those Notice if I empty out by highlighting and deleting what I entered and click away, that uh, little bit of instruction comes back. So in text placeholders, you're always kind of told what to do. I'll put that back. Clicking away deselects the placeholder. Clicking inside selects the placeholder. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is add a slide to my presentation. So I'm going to go to my Home tab, under Slides, New Slide. And I'm going to select a Title and Content slide. 
And I'm going to add some notes to this slide. So I'll go down to the bottom on my status bar and click notes. And I'm going to add a note down here that says, uh, be sure to discuss my past project experience. The title of this slide is going to be Project Experience. Okay, now if I choose not to place something in a placeholder, I also want you to be aware that this text, the instruction text, does not show up in your presentation. So just to demonstrate that, I'm going to go over to View and I'm going to take you into the slide sorter view where you can kind of see a snapshot of both of the slides as they would appear in a presentation. And notice you only see the text I typed. You don't see any of the text from those placeholders. Okay, I'll go back to the home perspective. Well, let's get back into normal view and back to the home perspective. All right, so I've started a little presentation for myself. I've got two slides and I'm going to save this now. So I'll go up to File on my menu and down to Save. And I'm just going to place this on my desktop. And I'm going to call it My Bio Presentation. Place it on my desktop. It's going to be saved in a PPTX format. I'll hit Save. All right, and let's just see if that worked. I'll go ahead and minimize my presentation. And here on my desktop, you can see that the file is saved. Now to close the file, I just go to File on the menu and pick Close. 